So we're gathered in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. So good morning. Good morning. So we're celebrating the uh, 30th Sunday in uh, ordinary time. So the, uh, this morning the Mass is being offered for Sister Teresa Marie, who's uh, celebrating uh, feast day this month. And we've been asked to pray for Anne Davis, who's having surgery for an aneurysm, and uh, Oriel, uh, that's uh, Lillian's niece, and uh, she's um, been tested positive for COVID. And so let us place ourselves before the Lord now, ask him to be with us and to listen to all the prayers we have in our hearts today. Lord Jesus, you always hear and answer us when we call out to you and we fail to recognize your voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are merciful and compassionate and call us to be the same with others. When we have fallen short of this, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, our faith is sometimes weak and small and we often struggle to do your will. For those moments, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, O Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, Do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner. Remember that you were foreigners in Egypt. Do not mistreat any widow or orphan. If you do, I, the Lord, will answer them when they cry out to me for help, and I will become angry and kill you in war. Your wives will become widows, and your children will be fatherless. If you lend money to any of my people who are poor, do not act like a money lender and require him to pay interest. If you take someone's cloak as a pledge that he will pay you, you must give it back to him before the sun sets because it is the only covering he has to keep him warm. What else can he sleep in? When he cries out to me for help, I will answer him, because I am merciful. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As Paul you song, I love you, Lord, my strength. I, I love, love you, Lord, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my protector. He is my strong fortress. My God is my protection, and with him I am safe. The I Lord. Love you, Lord. In my trouble, I called to the Lord. I called to my God for help. In his temple, he heard my voice. He listened to my cry for help. I love you, Lord, my strength. God gives great victories to his king. He shows constant love to the one he has chosen, to David and his descendants forever. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know how we lived when we were with you. It was for your own good. 
you imitated us and the Lord. And even though you suffered much, you received the message with the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. So you became an example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For not only did the message about the Lord go out from you throughout Macedonia and Achaia, but the news about your faith in God has gone everywhere. There is nothing then that we need to say. All those people speak about how you received us when we visited you and how you turned away from idols to God to serve the true and living God and to wait for his son to come from heaven, his son Jesus, whom he raised from death and who rescues us from God's and anger that is coming. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Amen. No, it should be A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, the scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the, uh, uh, they pose a question to him this time. This time they're not trying to trip him up. It's not a, a catch-22 question. Uh, they know he's uh, uh, a good spiritual teacher, and they're interested in what his take is. Um, because the background is they had 613 laws uh, to follow. And uh, that's what gave the nation its character, was following these laws, because they were given to them uh, by God. But the, it's quite a, a difficult chore to remember 613 uh, commandments. And uh, so, the, uh, so that's why they were asking uh, Jesus, you know, which is uh, uh, the great, you know, is the one commandment that sums it all up, you know, uh, and that uh, if you followed that, then you'd be right on the right course. And so as a kind of a respected uh, uh, spiritual leader, uh, so they were, they were interested to see what his uh, uh, opinion was. Because there was two uh, leading uh, rabbis in his time, uh, Gamaliel and Hillel. And uh, so they, they had slightly different uh, approaches. And uh, so, they, um, so the Jews were always interested to see, you know, do you follow Gamaliel or Hillel? And uh, so, the, uh, so they're wondering where Jesus uh, lies in this. And so, um, so the commandments, um, they go way back to Genesis. Um, so the, uh, when Adam and Eve were being expelled from the garden, the, uh, the uh, God said to them, uh, go forth and multiply. And uh, so, uh, so what became, uh, they took that as a commandment. That was a commandment from God. And so they took it that, uh, you know, as a commandment for God, the prime duty of parents was to find spouses for their children. 
and that's why you had the betrothals, um, you know, the, uh, to make sure that their children had uh, spouses. And uh, so that's, um, uh, that's where that, that comes from. And uh, so there was uh, uh, quite a lot of uh, other uh, commandments and that. And uh, in Exodus there we, uh, we read, uh, if you lend money to any poor people, do not act as money lenders and require interest. If, you give, if someone gives you a, his cloak as a pledge, that's like uh, today uh, our overcoat. And, uh, but that's what they slept in. And so you'd freeze without that of a night time. So if you took it as a pledge, you had to give it back to them at night. The, uh, so they could sleep comfortable, and then you take it again in the morning. <laughs> so it's um, <clears throat> that's if you caught him. <laughs> so there was all these laws and everything, and so uh, so they're interested. Which is the greatest commandment? And what Jesus turns to is the morning prayer of the Jews, uh, Deuteronomy six four, and uh, even to this day. Uh, it's the morning prayer that the Jews break the day with. Uh, so in Jesus' day, they didn't have any Timex watches. So how did they know when to pray? Say morning prayer. And so the ruler, because uh, the men wore the prayer shawl, which has uh, got black threads and white threads in it. And the rule was, when you could distinguish a black thread from a white thread, that was the time to start praying. And uh, so the... Um, so, uh, and so Jesus uh, goes to the Shema, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And that these words that I say to you today, you shall keep before your eyes always. And uh, so today we'd say that you have to, uh, uh, you know, worship the Lord with your whole being. With the, uh, but you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. So he says, that's the, the greatest commandment. He says, but how do you love your God? And how you love your God is by love your neighbor as yourself, Leviticus 1918. And so uh, if you want to know uh, are you loving God, then you have to look at whether you're looking after the widow and the orphan, all the poor people the, uh, around us, the vulnerable around us. And that's the litmus test for whether you're loving God, is how you take care of the vulnerable in society. And so, the, um, and so because God is not just interested in worship himself, he wants the, uh, uh, to take care of uh, the people that he's concerned about, the vulnerable. And so we show God that we love him the, uh, by loving our neighbor. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For Pope Francis, that the loving commitment which he shows towards refugees will convert world leaders to welcome strangers free of all oppression, we pray. Lord, hear us. We pray for dignified elections in the United States, for political stability in Belarus and Lebanon, for an end to violence everywhere, especially the armed conflict overseas, and for wisdom among health and government leaders during this pandemic, we pray. Lord, hear us. For the safety and well-being of all affected by the relentless wildfires in Colorado, we pray. Lord, hear us. For all of us gathered in our homes, or wherever we are, watching this Mass, that we may find comfort in the Lord when our hearts are troubled, and extend that comfort to others whose hearts are also troubled, we pray. Lord, For the sick members of our community, may they find care, lasting health, and deliverance, especially Denise Hurtado, Caroline Taba, Glenn Dolores, Hazel Munoz, Mikal Gideon, and Teresa Stenmo Morales, we pray. Lord, 
for our departed loved ones. May they rejoice in the gift of eternal rest and everlasting life, especially Father Bill Moore, Virginia Munoz, Raymond Barreras, Casey Sicala, and Raimundo Castillo, we pray. Lord, yes. And let us make our own special prayer now to the Lord. Father, we offer you these prayers and all the prayers that are in our hearts with the intercession of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. Become our spiritual drink. And let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And let us pray. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And let us lift up our hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and work of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Give the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, to be shed for you and for many, so that sins will be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to recon reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints, and <clears throat> on whose constant intercession we rely for help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, the Order of Bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. But through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray now in the words Jesus himself gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every fear and evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxieties. Wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And your spirit. So peace, peace, peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs may one day possess in truth. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So one day last winter, a woman texted her husband and she said, uh, Windows frozen. So he texted her back. He says, uh, uh, Pour some lukewarm water on them. Uh, but don't, uh, not hot water, and because uh, that'll crack the screen. And so, uh, um, so she goes and does that, and then she texts him back. Computer won't switch on at all now. <laughs> um. 
song. <clears throat> Let us ask the Lord to bless us now, be with us, and to be especially mindful of our families and friends. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Mass is ended. Let's go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Father.